centuries. You're the only one for me. But, Blair, you said that to the twins who are secretly your daughters who you fathered when you were in that coma. <laughs> you can't really have children with a man in a coma, can you, Mom? <laughs> I think there have been two recorded cases. I'm home and I'm feeling foul. So let's have a parting of the butts so I can sit up. Is the fun always over when Daddy comes home, Mom? Well, it's just suspended now. It's not officially over till he takes off his shoes. <laughs> Kelly, honey, I know you're a high school graduate, but you may be unaware of a new law. Since 1989, the government only permits one human lump per family. <laughs> so I'm afraid the time has come for you to get a job. Oh, no, Daddy, you're wrong. Mommy says that I don't have to do anything. I'm a girl. <laughs> Sweetheart, your mother is the last of a vanishing breed. The Tyrannosaurus do nothingness. <laughs> but there's still hope for you, honey. You can still get up off a couch without it making a suction noise. <laughs> so join with Daddy, won't you please, in actually earning a living? But honey, for Daddy's ego, try not to bring home more money than he does. So I'd say try returning pop bottles. But stop at 10. They're two cents a piece, you know. <laughs> oh, gee, Your Honor. I don't know where that shotgun came from. <laughs> now, Kelly, honey, you're getting old enough to know now that you can't go on mooching off society forever. So, go over to Marcy's house, steal her newspaper, and bring back the section with the one ads. Al, did you really mean what you said about me? You really think I do nothing? Peg, if you did any less around here, it would be called haunting. Well, then you have a pretty short memory. It's me who brass knuckles your underwear into that hamper. And who invented the broomstick with the piece of gum on the end of it to pick up your socks? I believe it was I. Now, I do plenty around here. I want an apology. And I want appreciation. Until I get some, I... Peggy Bundy am officially on strike. <laughs> Look, Daddy, I found a job. Listen, pretty girls needed. No skills, no talent, <laughs> no experience, no reading. <laughs> it's reading, honey. <laughs> no reading? Where are they gonna find anyone that stupid? <laughs> $400 a month. Now, that should help with the family, eh, Daddy? Well, uh, sweetheart, dear, this is an ad for a modeling school. See, I'd have to pay $400 a month. <laughs> so what's the problem? Hey, can you describe the difference between paying and earning? <laughs> what am I asking you for? Of course you can't. Come on, Daddy, I want to be a model. Hey, maybe I can get one of those neat jobs standing in a store window. <laughs> Peg, you want to take this one? You want to get down on your hands and knees and admit I'm everything to you? <laughs> Kelly, I'm not paying $400 a month so you can walk around with a book on your head. Hey, go ahead, pout all you want. It's not going to work. <laughs> I am a model. 